Om Shanti are you all happy? Legendary actor Sarath Babu passed away today. His soft smile is what we all remember when we say Sarath Babu, just like how he plays only soft characters in films. He is very soft in reality. Many actors like Rajini say that we have never seen him get angry. He can be the only one who gets a place in people's mind by playing a supporting role. He has no enemies. Very friendly and smiling face to everyone. That is why even leading actors like Rajini, Kamal and Chiranjeevi say that they are always ready to help him in any way. Sarath Babu has very good looks and charming voice. But when he died his appearance was completely changed and pitiable. Sarath Babu's amiable nature earned him opportunities in major Rajini films. Director Suresh Krishna met Sarath Babu for the first time in Rajini's Annamalai and after that Sarath Babu acted in all the films made by Suresh Krishna. This is a testimony to Sarath Babu's charm. Those close to Sarath Babu say that till the end he was as childlike as he was in the beginning. But if one is handsome, talented and rich like Sarath Babu, one must have committed a lot of sins of egoism. If God forewarns us of the suffering we will experience in our old age, we will not commit any sin in our youth. Sarath Babu's distinctive voice is very, very sweet. Capable of hooking the listener in a split second. Sarath Babu has no bad habits like drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes. He has a habit of condemning others who smoke cigarettes in front of him. He eats the right amount of food at the right time. He sleeps at the right time. He will also do the right amount of exercise. Even though he took good care of his body, this multiple myeloma and sepsis came and disfigured his appearance beyond recognition. Three months ago I saw an interview he gave to a channel with a smile on his face. But he died within three months of giving that interview. In fact, three months ago at the time of his interview, his body for the next birth had begun to form in a mother's womb. How mesmerizing to think of this. Yes. When the soul of the deceased passes into the womb of another mother, the body is already four months old ready in that mother's womb. How amazing it is that a life that leaves one body enters another mother's womb and takes another body and is born again on this earth. We should always prepare ourselves for the future. A child should study well from childhood to have a good life in the future. Even after getting a good job, he should save some money to take care of himself and his family in old age or in case of any sudden illness. Similarly, if we want to take care of ourselves in the age of old and faltering, we should be very kind to the elders and the children from now on. Even a small harsh word will instill in others the idea that why should I take care of him in the future. Similarly, in the next life we want to get a healthy body, we want to get good parents, and if we want to be intelligent, we should develop the good character of helping others now. It is this good quality that determines our next life. Sarath Babu never changed his divine nature till the end. Even though we are good natured in childhood, we gradually lose our good character later due to the people we associate with and the situations we encounter. Perhaps, what if someone keeps warning us that this is right and this is wrong? In order to give us such a warning, 100 years before the end of the Kali Yuga, God entered the body of an old man on this earth and gave us this wisdom day by day. This wisdom is available at all Brahma Kumari's Raja Yoga Meditation Center absolutely free in the name of Murli. It is available on many YouTube channels and websites. We are giving their links in the description below this video. Must see and benefit. In the beginning God created us as angels full of divine qualities and sent us to this earth. Then this earth is heaven. Then our full attention is always on the star-like soul in the middle of our forehead. Thus we always enjoyed the same peace and bliss. In this way, 
the same earth which was heaven for 2500 years, turns into hell for the next 2500 years. That is because our focus has shifted from the soul to the body. So we become addicted to sense gratification. Due to this we get addicted to the five vices like lust, anger, attachment, greed and ego and start committing many sins. As a result, this world has now become so full of sorrow. So again our focus should be on the soul rather than the body. For example, when we look at the dead body of Sarath Babu, doesn't it seem to us that the soul of Sarath Babu was smiling and talking with this body and expressing a pleasant quality? Similarly, if our focus is only on that soul while it is alive, it is called soul consciousness. When we were angels in heaven, we were in such spirit consciousness. In order to attain that soul consciousness, we must realize that we are the soul and constantly remember Lord Shiva, the father of the soul, like a star in the world of red light. Through this the sins in our soul will be removed little by little. We will become pure like God. We will become full of divine qualities. For this purpose, one should keep thinking about the Murli which is the wisdom given by the Lord along with thinking of the Lord as a point of light every day. Through this we can again attain the position of Sri Narayanan, the highest position in heaven. It is because the Kali Yuga will end and become a Satyuga heaven again that the Lord gives us this knowledge and qualifies us to be reborn in heaven and live comfortably.